let's understand the algorithm that is the steps in division algorithm see division of polynomials is quite kind of confusing for many the process is kind of confusing for many so what we will do now is we will look into the code which gives us the right answer whatever numbers i give it right whatever variables uh, not variables whatever polynomials i have the divisor and the dividend if i type in the right numbers right coefficient i am getting the right answer means the algorithm the coded coded algorithm has to be correct the procedure has to be correct only then the answer will be right so so there is something about this that we need to understand so that we can understand the division properly so we will look into the division algorithm with the help of the coded language you know with the help of the python code that i have written so this is where it starts uh, the first line is just telling it just like a heading okay like all the time i write so the first line is while so while is a condition like while this condition is there you 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 keep executing this so what is the condition the length of the dividend is greater than the divisor or or means well or means or length of the dividend is equal to the length of the divisor okay if any one of this condition is satisfied this loop will keep executing right it makes sense if the length when i tell length indirectly i'm talking about the degree if the divisor right is uh, i always get confused okay dividend if the dividend degree is length is lesser than the divisor's degree the process stops the division stops is it not see uh, in this example the last step which we i mean the last line over here is the reminder why is this the reminder why can't we divide it more because the length of this that's the degree of this is lesser than the degree of the divisor right because of that we stopped so this two condition will see to that that particular condition when it comes we will we jump out of the process of division okay so here we are talking about the degree of the divisor should always be lesser than degree of the or less than or equal to degree of the dividend okay so indirectly we are talking about this so that's your first line so with this condition in mind in each step we are doing this so the very first thing which i have done here is a uh, common factor is equal to list dividend divided by the list divisor and you have written 0 0 over here so what does it mean well all i am talking about is take the first term over here and the first term over here divide them and what do you get in this case i got 3 so that is your common factor okay um, i could have called it something else but i called it as common factor if not i could have clearly called it as quotient i should have called it as quotient actually that's a better one so i should change this to okay let me change that replace it with uh, quotient factor right okay replace all yeah mm, it's over here okay so that sounds better is it not so let's copy that right so the quotient factor is so and the quotient uh, will be this is that we are writing this factor in the quotient place okay so we are writing that in the quotient place which we are then the next step is so this two lines done we just divided we took the first term and we divided right then a uh, temp divisor is equal to element into quotient factor for okay this what i am trying to do over here is i took this 
and multiplied with 3x and I have a temporary space for allotted for such process. What did I do? What I'm trying to do here is I multiplied the 3x with the divisor. That's all I'm trying to do over here. See, divisors, each of the element in the divisor is being multiplied with the quotient factor, right? That the factor which we got now. So with that factor, we are multiplying. And then we are going through another loop wherein I'm subtracting each term. See, I'm doing the subtraction over here. Dividend and the divisor I'm subtracting and putting back to the dividend itself. So this will be your new dividend, right? So in this case, this was your new dividend. If I, if you remember, I told, forget about whatever happened. Now this is your new dividend. The divisor continues to be the same. The dividend changes, right? That's why I did the temporary divisor. I didn't change the divisor altogether. I took the, I made a temporary, I didn't change the actual divisor data. I just changed the, I took the uh, copy of it and then, then manipulated it. Okay, that's why this is temporary. It's not permanent. While your, uh, while your dividend, it changes, is it not? The dividend changes, it has to change. For the process to continue, it has to change. So it became zero, so on and so forth. Minus five, minus one and plus five, right? It changes and then we have, uh, okay, then we pop the last term out. That is the dividend, that zero is there now. We remove this altogether. We kind of remove out of our mind. I don't want that over there. So let's remove that, let's remove that. Because this is your new dividend. Okay, and so that will be new dividend and which is getting divided by this. Simple process, but in every step, this will keep happening. So the new dividend is equal to the length of uh, degree of the new divisor. I mean, dividend and divisor, the length is equal, is it not? The degree over here is equal. X square and X square, the degree is equal. So the condition is satisfied and then again the loop starts. We are taking the first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor, right? We are taking the first term over here and the first term over here and we are dividing and I got minus five. Right? And that I will be multiplying with this entire term, which is a temporary version of the divisor and that I'm subtracting, is it not? So I sub, uh, multiplied minus five with all of this and that I subtracted and I got the result nine X plus 10. Okay. So then pop the last uh, term. So we are looking at now this, because this is, uh, this degree is lesser than the degree of the divisor. The process stops and the loops loop comes out and we have the answer. Okay. So, if you guys want, uh, let us, what, what will I do here is, I have here uh, print the list, uh, print list dividend. So I uh, here I have the intermediate dividend answer also, which we can have a look at so that we can appreciate the process better. So give me a second. So what we can do is I'll, we'll do this and uh, I can do one more thing, print. Um, print some step number step number is equal to one. So I'm doing something. Um, step number plus right. So this will help us see in which step we are in so that we can um, get the process right. We should not get confused, right? So to do that, I'm doing all this. Okay, let's see the answer. Oh yeah, this process of putting in the data is must. So we have the dividend to be degree to be three, divisor to be two, the quotient is three, one, two, five, and uh, this is one, two, one. Okay. So in the first step, we're looking at the quotient to be zero, minus five, minus one and five. 
right that would that was your reminder of the new divisor make sense see 0 minus 5 minus 1 and 5 okay 0 minus 5 minus 1 and 5 in the second step we have 9 and 10 so here too we have in the second step we have 9 and 10 make sense quite good right so what we are doing is logical and i hope you guys understood the division process a lot better please enroll to our program at chalkpleaseacademy.com wherein we'll be teaching you a lot more tricks for faster simplification calculation uh, diy projects we'll code with python we'll work with arduino uno there are a lot more magic tricks and the physics behind it they are printable materials which will help you recap and understand things better. We will have live revision and doubt session two months before your term exams. It's very cost effective. There would be no ads or any kind of distractions and we have a dedicated app to help you guys with this.